Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reed, and today we're going to be going over our last type of second degree block, which is a second degree high grade AV block. Remember that second degree AV blocks are when not all P waves, which are uh, atrial contractions, conduct to a QRS complex, which is a ventricular contractions. And remember, second degree AV blocks, we have type 1, type 2, those were in our previous videos. I urge you to go watch those. But then there's this third kind of subtype of second degree blocks that I think is really, really important to delineate. It's called a high grade. And what that means is that essentially no consecutive P waves conduct to a QRS. So that means that there could be, for example, two to one conduction where for every two P waves, we conduct one of those to a QRS, or three to one conduction, or four to one conduction. Remember, these conductions are atria to ventricle ratios. The reason why it's really important to delineate between this is because we said that depending on where the lesion is, either you know, our AV junction, remember our AV junction is composed of two structures. It's composed first of the AV node proper itself, which is this little ball right there. It's also composed of the His bundle, right? And the His bundle is this bit of fiber, the short fiber that exits from the AV node to pass it down. And so diseases of, you know, depending on where the disease is can tell you what type of AV node block we have, right? And so we can determine that based off of how the PR changes, the PR interval changes with each beat. The issue with a high grade, the issue with a high grade is that we do not get, we do not get consecutive PR intervals. Because essentially, we only get one P to QRS complex, and then we get some drops. So essentially what it would look like is we've got like this P wave that conducts to a QRS, a T wave. Then we have another P wave, but it doesn't conduct to the QRS. And then we have a P wave that conducts to the QRS with a T wave. And then we have another P wave, but doesn't conduct. And then we have a P wave that conducts to the QRS, right? And so this is a high grade block where this P wave conducts, but this P wave blocks. This P wave conducts, this P wave blocks. And so notice we can't determine is the PR interval changing or not. We cannot figure that out here, right? So this is an example of a two to one high grade block. A three to one would be something like this. I'll do it at the bottom. A three to one would be something like this where we have a P wave that conducts to a QRS and a T wave. Then we have a P wave that doesn't conduct. Then we have a P wave that doesn't conduct. Then we have a P wave that conducts to a QRS, and we get a T wave, and then we have a P wave that doesn't conduct, and a P wave that doesn't conduct, right? So we have essentially P wave to QRS, P wave blocked, P wave blocked, P wave to QRS. And so these high grade blocks, we cannot say if the disease is here at the AV node itself or here at the His bundle. It's impossible to determine, so we really need to make sure that if we see any of these high-grade blocks, we call them second-degree high-grade, not a second-degree type 2. So it's a big misconception is that these are not, these are not second-degree type 2 blocks. You might get taught differently. Listen, you, you, you heard it here. So let's look at this ECG. Let's look at lead 2. We've got a rhythm. It's regular. It's beating through. If you're smart, you notice it's got a right bundle branch block. We're not going to talk about that here, right? So our QRS complex is regular. 
it's slow, right? The QRS rate is about 300, 150, 175, 60, 50, 42. It's like 40 beats per minute is our, what our ventricular rate. It's 40 beats per minute. And if you notice, I've got these P waves that one of them seems to conduct, one of them blocks. One of them seems to conduct, one of them blocks. And that happens throughout the entirety of the strip, right? And so that happens, there's right now, there are two P waves per one QRS. And what you'll notice is if you actually look at the rate, the, the atrial rate here, if I draw here, we've got 300, 150, 100, this would be like 75. The P to P rate, the P to P rate is about 80 beats per minute. Notice that my atrial rate is double that of my ventricular rate, right? It's double. That's because we have two P waves for every one QRS because every other P wave is conducting and we make sure that that seems to be the case throughout the entirety of this rhythm. So we have a regular complex rhythm that is two to one. So what's happening here is we have a P wave that comes down that conducts to the ventricles. And then we have another P wave that gets blocked. And then the cycle repeats itself. That's our two to one high grade, second degree high grade AV block. We've got another example here. We'll go through this quick. We've got our QRS complexes that are marching through the regular, right? The regular throughout the entirety of the strip. We'll find a QRS that lands on a solid line. We'll do the rate. 300, 150, 175, 60, 50, 42. Again, looks like 40 or so beats per minute, right? This is slow. We're like, man, this is too slow. And then you look and you're like, well, I've got two P waves per QRS, two P waves per QRS, two P waves per QRS. And this P wave conducts, and this P wave is blocked. This P wave conducts, and this P wave blocks. If you want, you can see that the PR intervals stay the same the entire time when they do conduct. And so we said our ventricular rate is 40. Well, the atrial rate, if you look here, from this P wave to this P wave is about 300, 150, 100, 75. It's about double that of the ventricular rate. So the atrial rate is double the ventricular rate in this case. So what do we have here? We have a second degree block because we know second degrees are when some but not all P waves conduct to the QRS. But this is a high grade block with two to one AV conduction. So hope this helps you better understand the differences between type one, type two, and high grade second degree blocks. It's important because we can't say that this is a type two second degree block. So I hope this helps. If you have questions, put them down in the comments. And if not, we'll see you on the next ECG video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, take care. Have a great rest of your day.